ഹാക്ക് ദ ബോക്സ് ഫോർത്ത് റിവേഴ്സിംഗ് ചലഞ്ച് എക്സാറ്റ് ലോൺ ദ അതർ ത്രീ ചലഞ്ചസ് ആർ ഓൾറെഡി ഡൺ ആൻഡ് പോസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ അവർ ചാനൽ ചെക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ആൻഡ് ട്രൈ ഡൂയിങ് ദം സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഡൗൺലോഡ് ദ ഫയൽസ് സോ ദ പാസ്വേഡ് ഇസ് ദ ഫ്ലാഗ് ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് ലെറ്റ്സ് അൺസിപ് ദ ഫയൽസ് Here we are given an executable. Let's check the type of the file. Executable and linked format 64 bit. It's an executable. Whenever we get an executable, what will you do first? Just run it. So we are prompt to enter a password. Let's enter pass. When it's wrong, we get a sad emoji. So the program is looping let's stop here now we can start the disassembly i'm using ida in this case you can use gitra or any other tool just click okay and open the file nothing interesting inside here i think the binaries are compressed let's check it out there's a tool for finding that open your browser and search detect it easy just follow the instructions and install this After installing execute it on our file Yeah our assumptions are right it is packed using upx Unpack it using the upx command and give any name you like in the output name Yeah, it is unpacked now. Now let's use Red Array two to disassemble the unpacked file. Just type V, and then type P to change the views. Let's see the assembly view. Let's scroll down to the section where the enter password is called. Let's stop and look what's happening. There's a string below that says looks good. This is a success, I think. Then our sad emoji is down there. So let's go back and check. So there's a standard in to take the input. then the input is passed as a parameter to the exact loan function let's go down and check there is a jump before the success message then it goes down to the next location okay then it again goes down and there's an another jump to our sad symbol So before the first jump is where our password is checked I think our input is given to the exact loan function and the function does some encryption then the check happens I will clearly explain this using the strings So let's type in the command From this we can see clearly that after we get the prompt if it's the correct password looks good is printed or else the sad emoji But what is this? Did anyone notice this in the assembly? Let's go back and check. Just below the exact loan function is called we can see the set of integers. So what is it? After our input is provided to the exact loan function, then something happens and it is compared with this set of integers. 
So this center of integers is our real flag. So this line is where the comparison happens. So if we can reverse it using the excitlon function, then we can get the real flag. But how? Let's run the program in Red Array 2 and check what happens in the registers. Run it with the command DC. And enter A as the password. Now type the command DRR. This is used to check the contents of the register. So we can see a value 1552. Just keep it in mind. Now let's again run the program. I'm gonna set a breakpoint so that I don't want to just cancel the program each time I run. Now type the password B, then type DRR. See the value at R1 is changing. Now again run the program and type C as password now. Then type the command DRR. See the value at R1 is incrementing by 16. From this we can understand a bit shift is happening but right or left shift now let's use ida pro to see what's happening inside the exad loan function just click ok and open the file in the left section press ctrl f and search for our function and select it If we go down a little bit, we can see SHL EAX4. See that line? From this, we can understand a left shift is happening. So now we understand what's happening inside the exadlon function. So we don't need to write long codes to brute force it backward. Now we can write our exploit. It's just a piece of cake. Just change the left shift to right shift. And provide the set of integers we got. Just showing it in graph view for a better understanding. This is where the left shift happens. See the number 4. It means change by 4 positions. So in the exploit, I first provided our set of integers as an array. Then declared flag with a character size of 30 and left it empty. Now inside our for loop, we run the loop till the end of the array. Then an integer shift is declared to do the right shift. I'll show you in the browser. So this is how we do the left shift. So the opposite happens in our code. Then we provide it to the car to find the ASCII value corresponding to the number. Then save it to our flag and print out the flag. That's what we do. So let's run it. So this is our flag. Let's submit it. Make sure to check my other videos. And also I will be doing the rest of the challenges in the coming videos.